Hi, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to use a very special computer to explore the 3n plus 1 conjecture. The conjecture says, start with any number. If it's even, cut it in half. If it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. Then repeat. The conjecture asks, does every number go to 1? Nobody knows. Say we start with 5. Five's odd, so we multiply it by 3 and add 1, which gives us 16. 16 is even, so we cut it in half to 8, which we cut in half to 4, then 2, then 1, and we're done. Here's what happens if we start with the number 1003. You can see it goes up, then down, and then up and down in a kind of random looking way until it finally reaches 1. And we looked at lots of start numbers last time, and they all go to 1. How long does each start number take? Let's put the first 50 start numbers on a graph on the x-axis here. On the y-axis is how long each start number takes to reach 1. Right here you can see if we start with the number 31, it takes 106 steps to reach 1. So you can see what I mean about math being unpredictable and chaotic. But look here, adjacent start numbers often take the same number of steps to reach 1. So here and here. There's a definite pattern there, and we're going to investigate that in the next episode. But first, we're going to write a computer program to analyze 3n plus 1 sequences. Instead of using a regular computer, we're going to build a computer out of colored marbles and two pool cues. Why? Just for fun. Before that, let's streamline things a little bit. Whenever we run into an odd number like 5 and do 3n plus 1, notice that we always get an even number next, which we always immediately cut in half. So 5 to 16 and immediately to 8. So from now on, let's cut out the middleman and go directly from 5 to 8. Either way, we'll still eventually reach 1 or we won't. So now the deal is, start with any number. If it's odd, multiply by 3 and add 1 and divide by 2. If it's even, still cut it in half, then repeat. Okay, now to the computer made out of colored marbles and pool cues. First of all, in 1921, a guy named Newman won the World Billiards Championships. No, not Paul Newman, Tom Newman. Anyway, we don't care about either of these Newmans. We care about a guy named Post, who also, in 1921, invented the first computer. He was way ahead of his time. He didn't even know the thing he invented was a computer. He called it a tag system. You can write any program you want, like this program. It says, replace red X with blue green, replace blue X with red, and replace green X with three reds. Even though this programming language is very simple, it's very powerful. And in fact, anything you can program in Python or C++, you can also program in a tag system. Next, you hand the program some input, for example, three reds. Then the program's going to chug away, generating outputs. This program amazingly computes the 3n plus 1 sequence for any start number. Lisbeth de Mol came up with it in 2007. It's like the old punch card system. We load this program into a computer and then feed it some input. Let's say our input's going to be 3. Well, 3 is odd, so 3n plus 1 is 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 5 is odd, so remember, instead of 16, we'll go directly to 8. And 8 is even, so 4, 2, then 1, and we're done. Let's run it on the computer. We start with 3 red marbles. Now, we're always going to take 2 marbles from the left. In this case, we call this pattern red X because the left marble is red. We don't care what the color the right marble is. And the program, we can look it up, says replace red X with blue green. So we're going to put blue green here on the right. Okay, that's one step of the program. And uh, all we really care about are the red ones. Don't worry about what the blues and the greens are. So we're going to repeat and say red X again. We're going to take these and replace them with blue green. Now when we take the first two marbles, we have green X, which the program says replace with three reds. And green X again. And uh, now we have our first output, five, because they're all red marbles. So good job, computer. We started with three, and we got five. Now for five, let's keep going. Replace red X with blue green. And do that a couple more times. Then replace green X with three reds and a couple more times. And now we have our second output, 8, which is just what we expected. Program keeps running. Replace red X with blue-green. Again, 
and a couple more times. Then replace blue X with red. And do that a couple more times. And now we have our third output, which is four as expected. And finally, replace red X with blue green. And again, replace blue X with red one more time. And now we have two. And after a couple more replacements, we have one red marble. And so starting with three, sure enough, we wound up with one. Actually, we can start with any number we want and the program will still work. Let's try starting it with 31 red marbles. At the end, the program will give us just one red marble, except we'll need thousands of marbles for the intermediate computations. But even a computer with thousands of marbles is still cheaper than my laptop. So cool computer, Mr. Post. Okay, in the next episode, we're going to look more deeply at the 3n plus 1 conjecture.